I've received numerous messages from users trying to get their combustion engines to work properly. Now it's been a while since I've done my last tutorial, so I thought I'd make another one just covering some of the issues that might stop your combustion engines from working. Firstly, and most importantly for beginners, you want to make sure you've got it set up properly. Now this is almost common sense for experienced players, but if you're a beginner, I encourage you to check and double check to make sure everything's set up properly. You need to check to make sure you've got a redstone current going to it. A redstone torch will work, but you can also use a lever, remembering they have to be placed next to the engine within a one block vicinity. If necessary, they can also receive a signal through redstone dust. Next, you need to make sure you have a wooden conductive pipe attached to the coloured piece on the combustion engine. Or if you're connecting the engine directly to a machine or a pipe, make sure it's facing the right way. The coloured piece has to be facing the device you want to send the power to. If it's not facing the right way for whatever reason, you can change its direction by right clicking on it with a buildcraft wrench, which is the grey one. Or by destroying it with a pickaxe and placing it down again. When placing the combustion engine, make sure you only have one conductive pipe directly next to, below or above the engine. Sometimes it can cause problems if other pipes are too close, and it's not possible for one engine to send power through multiple conductive pipes. You also want to check the fuel level. Combustion engines can only run on oil or fuel. It can also run on lava, but only if your version of Buildcraft is earlier than version 4.1.0. If it's later than version 4.1.0, lava won't work as a fuel source. When you right click on the interface, your fuel should appear on the left column and the water should appear on the right. I strongly recommend you provide your combustion engines with plenty of water if you plan on running them for a long period of time, but they should still start up and operate normally even without any water in them. The combustion engine should start up normally regardless of how much fuel you have in it, however it's best to make sure that the fuel amount is above the first line, not just at the level of the first line, but above it. At least two buckets of the fuel of your choice is recommended. Sometimes, if you have one bucket's worth of fuel in it, which will fill it up to the first line, then you start the engine, it operates for a little bit, and then you switch it off, it might not start back up again because it has less than one bucket of fuel in it. It'll look like it still has one bucket worth of fuel in it, but the actual amount that it has inside will be less. So if you're in doubt, always add an extra bucket of fuel. If you've had the engine running for a while, it will generate heat. This can be viewed by clicking on this button on the combustion engine's interface. Sometimes, if the engine is still hot, it won't start. It can sometimes even still be at the blue stage, which is the coolest, and it might still not start due to the temperature. If this happens, just make sure it still has enough fuel, keep the redstone current on, and wait a little while. It should come back on its own. Sometimes it can take several minutes, so it pays to be patient. If you've waited longer than a few minutes and it's still not working, you may want to try removing and replacing the wooden conductive pipe above the engine. Flicking the redstone current off and back on again may also work. This is a common fix if you're playing on a server, but it's also known to work on single player games too. This is more of a last resort, but you can pick up the engine using a pickaxe and place it down in the same location or somewhere else. That'll probably fix the problem, but just remember, when you do this, you'll lose any of the fuel and water inside it, so it's not ideal, which is why it's a last resort. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like, and if you're interested in seeing more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments, and have a great day!